the conjurer is a distinguishing feature of the Omani personality as well as an important symbol of male elegance. It's traditionally worn at the waist. Historically, it's used as a symbolic weapon and worn by men. Nowadays, it's used as a type of formal dress code and stylistic purposes. We all have to wear hanjar. It's a symbol of manhood, courage and tradition. In the past, it was used as a weapon, but today it's the identity of a man. It can take up to a month to make a quality conjure and a craftsman adhere to the regional designs handed down from generation to generation. Every region has its own variations. Essentially, an Amani dagger consists of three parts, the hilt, the sheath, and the blade. Conjure are worn on belts of locally made webbing. Plus, the silver conjure were made by melting down Maria Theresa silver coins. Conjure are priced according to design and materials used and range from touristy, mass-produced varieties with plastic handles to the elaborate works of art with rhino horns, hilts and priceless plates that can fetch up to 1,200 riyals. There are many types of Omani Khanjur, such as Since Khanjur is the logo of the Sultanate, the government represented by the public authority for craft industries is trying hard to preserve it. Uh, the Sultan, His Majesty, uh, has made uh, like a decision uh, to train youth people for hanjar making, and also, uh, and that of course through political craft industry, and they prevent foreigners from making hanjar, so that will give chance for many people to again. Uh, became the producers of Omani Hanja. We start, uh, of course, doing that by preparing several uh, programs or training programs. We introduce it for youth, especially for uh, secondary school graduates. We prepare uh, almost two programs in Hanja making, and uh, we, of course, uh, invite some old Omani people to train to, to, uh, with, uh, young trainees. Also, Khanjar attracts some Omanis to buy it and makes them take it as a precious souvenir. So, what do non-Omanis think of Khanjar? It's interesting historically for me because it reminds me of uh, more the kind of nomadic tradition in Oman, more a little bit about kind of the uh, warrior tradition, basically people being uh, traveling and therefore needing to protect themselves. I, I like to see things from the context and I think the context is interesting here because it's basically people who are go moving from place to place and therefore need to protect themselves, uh, also need to probably just maybe have, you know, find an animal somewhere and so it kind of tells me about the reasons why it's such an important part of the costume. I think it's a way of life, it's, it's, it's a necessary part of the dress simply because it is, we are talking about people who are going outside for whom life is pretty rough and therefore it's, it's a, more of a surprise. The Khanjar, especially in urban areas, is now taken out of its velvet case only for ceremonies and official functions. But this was not always so. In these days, we see that uh, modern, modern children, children don't use these hunters because they, uh, they, think, they think that the hunter is now, nowadays old-fashioned. But now, we have to respect the hunter because it's our tradition. 